So this is an unknown speaker. Well, to better introduce yourself. Bueno, ya recordad que tenemos las dos salas. I remind you that room 19 and 25 are connected. I will be getting the questions from room 19. And you taking pictures? Mr. Chema Alonso with you. Hello, hackers. How are you doing? So this is the first time that I'm giving this presentation. And this presentation is related to music. You are all here because you like music. Who likes music? Good. This presentation is about rock and roll. And I'm going to launch a competition. Have you, do you all have speakers like these ones who have them either at home or at the office? These are USB speakers that you get most of the time for free. And so this one is 250 euros and it has great sounds. So I'm going to give you uh, premium accounts in Spotify for those of you who want to participate. There are a number of rules for participation. You come here, you play a song in Spotify, you need to have an iPhone for no reason, but it's an iPhone. Then you need to get the biggest applause from the public. And then when you do that, you will become part of a real live demo on your phone. So you will be part of a live demo. You will become a rock and roll star. And of course, you accept all the consequences when you decide to participate in that demo. So uh, well, there are golden rules. No reggaeton is allowed. Who dares to go? Who wants to participate? OK, a knife on there. Roman, I don't know whether you should participate in that. You have a family, and this could be risky. So this is as easy as me connecting to, with that, to this loudspeaker. OK, we start the speaker, full volume. OK, I'm connected, then I play a song. I don't know whether there is an internet connection or not. 
beautiful. Okay, use this one. So you know what the demo is about, very simple, to play a song, and that's it. Who wants to participate? Who wants to participate? Okay, iPhone, who likes to come over here to have an iPhone? Nothing to lose. Do you have a girlfriend? No, I don't. He is not a friend, but he's one of my students in the master's course that I give. So I log out. Then you log in. We will record it. Is that your phone? You cannot see it. OK. Hold on a sec, I will get it ready. Okay, now, big time. So you see what we are doing, nothing is strange. Bluetooth, can you see it? Bluetooth, now list of devices. This is the speaker, okay, to connect. So you are connected there, and now play your music. Spotify. Let's see the music that you like. Your library. Random. Volume up, please. Do you like this track? Give it an applause. Yes, I can see that you like it. Anyone would like to take part in this competition? Okay, one more volunteer. Do you have an iPhone? Okay. Disable Bluetooth, please. Now Bluetooth.
this is not a it's not a good idea to take part in this demo if you have a girlfriend. Okay, connecting. So the speaker. Audio device, a regular one. All right, now place your track. So can you see the icon of the headphones? No reggaeton? Scorpius, beautiful. You know this track? Who likes it? Votes for Kill Bill, one, two, three. Cast your vote for Scorpions. Thank you very much for participating. Please disable it. Right, that was all about it. That was the end of it. So it's been a pleasure. So what is the, my presentation about? It's about music. Do you know what we have done? We have taken this audio device. So here in the list of devices, if we take a look at it, this is what I get. This is Kilbaum. This is an audio device. Mm. That's just about it. Nothing is strange here. The thing is that we have just an iPhone. I don't know whether you heard that iPhone is one of the most secure devices in the world. Lots of papers have been published in that regard. And it is true to say that iPhone may have lots of security measures, but the moment that you connect external devices to it, then risk appears. For instance, there are many things that you can do with that. For instance, using voice control and Siri to extract data. I gave a presentation that said that your iPhone is as insecure as your Windows, because when you pair it to your Mac or to Windows, you can do very many things. If you do the jailbreak, many opportunities get open. When you also connect it to iCloud, also connections with mobile networks, as well as apps, physical access, and uh, Wi-Fi uh, networks, Bluetooth, and NFC, because someday, sometime in the future, they will implement NFC. And Today, we will be seeing an example of that. They just uh, uh, connected through YouTube to one of these uh, speakers that you get for free. So has it happened uh, anything to your phones? No, not yet. No porno yet. Well, to understand all that, first of all, you have to understand the following. These are the implementations of Bluetooth, of the connection uh, standard for connection of Bluetooth. And there is one which is interesting as of the version 2.1 of 2007, where the device of Bluetooth that is being offered, which is the Marshall speaker, may decide whether it wants to force a token pairing connection or not. So both devices, they can decide whether they want a, pairing, a token pairing or not. And because it is an audio device, no token pairing has been requested. You just clicked on the device, and that was enough for you to connect to the speakers. So mm. The case is that in iPhone, this possibility is offered. So we connected to a Bluetooth device, and no token pairing was requested. When you connect to a device, you may use that device for something. And then they publish what that device is for. 
and that is done through Bluetooth profiles. That is to say, each of the devices offering the services or connections through Bluetooth that says, look, I am a speaker device or I'm a human interface device or I am a free hands for you to make calls or I am a system to control your messages. These Bluetooth controls are documented and new ones are appearing on a regular basis. So we have uh, Bluetooth profiles for audio, like advanced audio distribution profile. This is exactly the same one that this device is um, issuing, and uh, which is published as audio. This is the Bluetooth profile that we are using to publish our speaker. So therefore, what it shows on the Mac, the Mac tells us that it is a uh, speaker. And there is an icon for that. There is another one, which is like headsets profile, hand-free profile, then the phone book access profile, which is which allows you to use your phone not only on Bluetooth, but also to interact with your contacts. If you have a modern, cool car, you will know that you can modify or change your contacts from your phone. You can add a contact, edit a contact. You can do that from your phone, from your car. And what are the, what are the, what Bluetooth profiles are implemented in iPhone? Well, several of them. Not very many of them on iPad. Those that are related to contacts and hands-free are not implemented on iPad. But in iPhone, we have nearly all the profiles, profiles that allow us to access contacts and to manage the phone book and hands-free remotely. The thing about this is that when a profile is published, when you publish a profile, you may decide, you decide which profile you want to profile. So this profile was published as a speaker. And then the participants got an icon of headsets on their screen. And not only that, that has been done through an audio profile, but it does not require any pairing token. Not requiring any pairing token is very convenient. However, someone may attack your device very easily, and that's what the pairing token is for, so that you don't connect to a hands-free, which is not yours, and then the, your hands-free ends up uh, getting hold of all your contacts. And if we had a profile accessing all your data, we will be getting something like this. That is to say, where pairing token is required. This is another profile. It is not the audio one, it's another Bluetooth profile. And when we are going to connect to it, it asks us whether we are sure to connect. And it asks us for a pairing token. And what happens with iPhone? Well, this is quite interesting. If you were to connect to speaker, and if that speaker, when you saw the list of devices of Bluetooth on iPhone, you don't get an icon. So therefore, visually speaking, you don't know whether you are connecting to an audio profile or to any other type of profile. And just because after Bluetooth 2.1, you can connect without any pairing token, could be the case that you would get it wrong, that you would make a mistake. But this is even worse, because in iPhone, when you connect to a device which is not an audio device, that is to say a Bluetooth device which is either implementing hands-free or phone book access profile, that is to say that that allows accessing your contacts by default, this is what it is configured. That is to say, sync contacts. If you get it wrong, before you log out, all your contacts are gone. Are you following me? This should not be the case. If they have, have it there, just due to usability. In the case of Android, if a Bluetooth device wants to access your contacts, 
It will ask you the following. Do you want to do it or not? But in iPhone, due to usability, the first option is sync contacts. Are you getting me? Can you more or less <laughs> see what I want to get to? And actually, in Android, this works like this. I play a video. So we connect to a device. It will show our speaker. There is it. Speaker, uh, 11 path. These are headsets, headset icon. So this Bluetooth profile will try not to be a headset profile. So this is a long video, but the demo will not fail because this is a video. And this is a message that you get on Android. And what is the problem? The problem, as you can imagine, for you to get this message is just because you have done something on the device and say, well, I am a headset profile. We have already connected. We know each other. What happens if I were to become your hands-free? Android does that, but iPhone doesn't say anything about it. And actually, if you log into the system with an audio device, you see that 11 path speaker, and then you go into the options of your device on your iPhone. This is the only options that you have, either to disconnect or to hide the device. But if out of the sudden, it decides to become hands-free to get a new option, which is the sync contacts option. This is, so we have uh, made a video with this song, Nothing Else Matters. So this is an iPhone. This is what they have not seen behind the scenes in the phones. This is what we will be getting on our device. It will show us the speaker. There it is, speaker 11 paths. And then we get connected. So you see the options, you see the icon, headsets. But at a given point in time, you see the icon, top right, out of the sudden becomes hands-free, and then the screen has been changed. Has the, did the user receive a message? No, no message at all. We've seen it because we were looking at it, but if not looking at it, you wouldn't see anything. So basically, the lyrics of this track is what it shows on the screen. So when we open Discovery, we offer a Bluetooth profile, uh, like if I am a speaker, when you pair yourself with no pairing token, happens is that you are paired, it sounds perfectly all right, you heard it before, and after some time, the profile is changed. Then you're going to say, well, I just don't want to be a speaker anymore, I'm tired of being a speaker, and now I'm going to become your hands-free, I'm going to access your contacts, uh, lock of your calls, your phone, your photographs, images, don't you worry. So the first uh, testing was made on a Raspberry. Alvaro did that. But we wanted to go more into it, and then we used our man in hardware, and he did the 32 Rogue BT speaker. And this is the one that you see on the screen. And basically what we did with that device, we use a 10C as a CPU. Then we have a Bluetooth module implementing the profiles that we want to implement. Then the module sending out everything on the internet to a server and to steal data very fast on Bluetooth and to send them slowly through GSM. We have a system that works in an asynchronous manner. It has a FAT where all the data of the contacts are copied 
And then those uh, data are sent out uh, in a, a synchronous manner to the back end. And besides, in order to control, it's got a debugging mode where we can take a look at the signal and everything. You could use a Wi-Fi module or a GSM module or a GPS unit to measure the signal and the intensity from the base station and then triangulate to determine where that iPhone is. So what that, that loudspeaker does, these two kind gentlemen have connected to it. They, uh, it includes everything in the hardware. Quite cool. So it copies all the files and uploads them. So as you will see in this video, as cool as this. This is the dirty tooth panel. If everything went okay, we'll see something from these gentlemen. We connect to the loudspeaker. The loudspeaker, uh, the user just connects to the uh, loudspeaker, and that's it, plays music. And as music sounds, oh, by the way, I'm going to make a sound. Why not? The video's still there. Never mind. It stopped. So you see the device behind the scenes. And all the contacts have been uploaded. How many do you have? How many in this room have uh, something like this at home? And then the funny part is that you can implement it since you've got the email addresses, you can find out um, social media, LinkedIn stuff, Facebook, you've got the phone number so you can use the APIs to see what operator they belong to, whether they're roaming. Did you understand? It's easy, isn't it? So, behind the scenes, you know what is happening now. What happens behind the scenes is simply this. You just play around, you send the debug mode, you see what devices are being connected, the signal level, so you have full control of everything. What data format do you uh, get when you uh, use this for an iPhone? Well, you get the vCards version 2.1, which is the ones implemented by iPhone. You just go and take a look at V1, at uh, 2.1 for vCards. We haven't shown everything, we haven't captured everything so that the demo could be quicker. We've only captured certain pieces of information. But some interesting things. In order to find out about the phone number of the person that has paired their iPhone with a malicious loudspeaker, you just have to take a look at the UID. UID equals zero, that's the owner. That's always the owner. So we capture the data, we have the V cards, we have the call record, the full call record of the last calls received, last calls made and information about the user. We see everything in our back end and a uh, piece of cake, basically. How does this work? What happens behind the scenes? Well, this is it. Same video again, with another one on top, which shows what is not seen. This is how the change happens. We see how it, ha how it connects. And now, on the right-hand side, you'll see what happens. Five seconds after that, the profile will change. The person you see is watching the video. The profile has now become something different. It is now a new uh, Bluetooth profile accessing the contacts. And you see all the details that have been stolen beforehand. If everything has gone well, we should have it in the panel. OK? These are two that we use for our tests. If I refresh, your details should be here. Your contact details should be here. 
I will not refresh until I'm sure that you have no problem with justice. Do you have problems with justice? Wow, you're so cool. So, I refresh. Perhaps we failed in the demo. I'm not completely certain that it worked. Okay, should we refresh? Okay, let's refresh. I didn't get a connection. So we can have a problem with uh, in the internet connection. It's got its own SIM card, don't worry. It's through USB. So I'm going to get rid of that Wi Fi. I'm connecting again. Live demo not working, not, not yet. Let me see if it connected. Here it goes. No internet connection here. It seems that connectivity is not that good. I think I, okay, I'll use Wi-Fi. Just a second. Wi-Fi connection to mine, I pair the devices. It was connected to it's not picking up the connection running out of internet exactly when I have to show it Whenever you want to connect, go ahead. There's lots of Wi-Fi signals in the area. Some of them are quite peculiar in their names. What I'm trying to do here is connecting to my phone There are problems with Wi-Fi. There's lots of Wi-Fi signals, and this Mac is not very comfortable. Can you give me a Wi-Fi network I can connect to? The most difficult thing here is connecting to the internet. Well, connected to the internet, refreshing now. There it goes. Well, here you see the devices. Danilo, well, you've earned yourself a subscription to Spotify. Yours, which one is it? This one? Which one?
Let me take a look at this one here. This one is yours, yes? We've covered the numbers, so you're going to see them. These are your latest calls, incoming, outgoing. I don't know how many contacts we were able to grab. There you have the email address. This is a contact that only has an email address. Let me see if we can click on it. If they've got a Facebook account, we should see it. Let me check on this one. This one is in orange. Too bad. Okay. These are your friends. The Gmail one, they will get it. Well, this is capturing data about people's lives. Okay, let me check on yours. This is Danilo's. These are the incoming calls. These are the ones going out. You, you, did you make a phone, an international phone call to Ecuador today? Well, there it goes. Here we have the contacts. Let me see if any anyone has an email address this is hotmail hotmail still exists wow that's the email address it keeps analyzing let me check on that one so as a proof of concept that would be enough for us i think you all got it what this is all about the demo at the end of the day the problem is usability for you to make it easier to connect to the device we remove the pairing code for you to make it uh, more comfortable more convenient you can have everything synchronized without asking you anything and when the uh, Bluetooth profile changes because there can be devices out there that do one more more than one thing well will you get rid of the code so uh, you in improve reusability at the expense of security. And then you can do other things. We can access the phone book with an iPhone. Well, we can play around to see what we can do. On messages, on messages, by default, funny enough, the option to synchronize automatically is not there. It is only there for contacts. The problem with contacts is that they have notes. So you have notes, they go in as well. And then depending on the profile, you can write, you can save V cards. It works on all iPhones, all the way from 3G to 7 Plus, and in all versions of iOS, all the way up to 10.2.1. So it is a matter of playing around to get more or less information, to do the professional and personal map for that person. You can use the Wi-Fi module and make it, much, make it much more complex. If you give someone a loudspeaker, you can use the speaker to, uh, to, uh, to launch an APT on them and do whatever. Analysis for each IP address, the power of the Bluetooth signal, the power of the uh, base stations for mobile telephony. If you want to take a look in detail, this is the Dirty Tooth Hack website that we have put together where you have information about everything. There is a small paper in Spanish and English if you want to uh, peek around. That was it. Instead of doing the demos myself, it was you. We have a, a module for the Raspberry Pi if anyone is interested in setting this up. So that's it from me. If anyone wants to raise a question, this is the time. A ver, preguntas. 
Any questions? If we have questions from the other room, you can use the radio link. I'm jumping the queue. Can you use a metapressor? Well, you can run anything on it. The only thing we did, we wanted to do here, was to uh, make the most of uh, standard profiles. I'm a prof I'm a loudspeaker, and now I become the hands-free for your car. And since I'm the hands-free for your car, you will give me all the information I request. These are just options in the usability. It's just Bluetooth jacking. You uh, connect to a loudspeaker and that's it. We haven't done anything with exploits or offensive secu security. You c could you do a relay for a phone call? Since I am connected as a device with to their telephone, I can call on behalf of uh, that user. Did you think of that? Well, we didn't think of that, but that would be possible because at the end of the day, you're a hands-free unit. You could force that type of option. Questions? One from there. Yeah, I was uh, I was curious. Have you paid the two volunteers? Are they actors? No, I know them. But but uh, we haven't paid them anything. I can assure you. To give you proof of that, I'll publish the contacts in the internet. I w I mean, if you've had uh, two volunteers in a security conference, well, that would be a nice thing to talk about. In the panel, someone connected, and it wasn't a volunteer, and it was shown there. Tell me who it was. Tell me who it was. Not a volunteer. So let me see who that was. Tati? Go to the devices. Who did some harsh breaking here? Rinswind. Rinswind. Are you here? Just say it was you. Just say it was you. There he goes. There, there he is. The truth is that I. I cheated a little bit. I was expecting hackers to connect to the device anyway. So let me uh, click on this and see what happens. No need to do it. Okay. So vote in favor of clicking. We will delete everything, I can assure you. We will delete everything. More questions? Anything else? There's one there, one in the second row. I'll, I'll let you my microphone. Have you thought of using devices with antennas with, in a big way? And the version for Raspberry Pi, did you test it? Do you know whether it works with native Bluetooth or do you need an additional device from third parties? In, in the case of the antenna, well, these are things to do with hardware. Jorge is around. Right, if, if you can pass the microphone to Jorge. In the case of the antenna, the funny thing is that this is an APT. I mean, I'm not connecting to loudspeakers that are 100 miles away. The funny thing is that you go to a conference and you give all attendees a loudspeaker, like this one. That's the funny part, okay? A gift for next year's conference. Jorge will tell us about how he built the module. But the name comes from the loudspeaker itself. Jorge? With Raspberry Pi 3, pairing works without, without a pin. It's got to be above 2.1. Anything above 2.1 has pairing straight away. If it's a 2.0, everything works 
the same, except that the protocol demands that there is an exchange of pins, okay? Other than that, you can do everything. It's all standard components, nothing out of the ordinary. Thank you, Jorge. I have two questions there. I really liked your talk, I have a doubt. When you synchronize contacts, could you modify them as well? Well, the, the, uh, the standard allows you to do that through the profile. It is also true that we didn't have that much time. And it was a bit difficult with the iPhone. We tried to do it from the Raspberry, and it was a bit cumbersome. The standard says it should be possible, but we haven't been able to see it for ourselves. Okay, we don't know yet. And then with VCAR 2.1 from iPhone, it made it very difficult. On tests with hardware, we haven't implemented it yet. It will be quite interesting. Thank you. Well, f first of all, a very interesting talk. You reminded me of myself when I was 13 years old and there were some hearts from Symbian where you would install whatever Bluetooth you had with your friends and you would get photographs from them and make phone calls on their behalf. So I think the question that was raised before had to do with that. So I really enjoyed myself, but the doubt is on hardware. They were asking about Raspberry Pi. Have you thought about running it with uh, some Chinese microcontrollers called SP from Expressive? One of them is very famous because it runs MicroPython, Lua, FCP8366. As you see, I'm an electronic engineer, not an IT guy. So th these guys have launched a new one, which has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth included, SP32. Did you get any? There's one coming to me from China. If you come across them, it would be interesting to uh, test because their consumption is so much lower. You can use them anywhere. Yes, we know of those because uh, the guys over at Hack Players ESP from Expressive, Micro Latch, I think. They've done an implementation of Latch. This you will return to me in cash. Yes, the, uh, it's just a few dollars. It comes with Wi Fi and everything. Well, that would be another option if you want to make it smaller. In this case, we gave um, Jorge complete freedom. 250 euros is spent on that loudspeaker. Cheeky boy. Well, the boss pays, so that's it. And then, well, you can use them, depending on what you want to achieve. Then, if you have fast hardware, a few seconds is enough to squeeze everything out of it. You just connect for a few seconds, and you extract the entire contact list in nothing, in a few seconds. More questions? There's another one over there, another one at the top. Hi, Chema. Thank you very much. I had a question that might be interesting. Have you tried to clone Bluetooth devices? Would it be possible to use the same technique? <coughs> Come on, this is the next presentation. Don't talk about that now. Thank you. Uh, since you're talking about that, how about man in the middle? Yes, that, that, was, that was my question. Have you tried to, without modifying the loudspeaker, use another Bluetooth and increase the, uh, the level through the profile, and then use a second Bluetooth device and take the uh, contact list from there? Well, we haven't had time to do everything. I mean, we've told you about this very quickly. And let me tell you a story. In October of last year, we did Equinox, which is a hackathon, an internal hackathon, and 11 paths to do hacks. And two young guys, including Joseba and somebody else, did a hack to hack the, recap the recapture from Google 
using the voice recognition system from Google. We published a paper where we were about to publish that paper. We wanted to send it to DEF CON. We, 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 we clip it as, a, as on a, a wizard. How to uh, spoil Google recapture using Google voice recognition from Google Chrome using a, a Chromebook. The paper was quite funny, actually. And it was only today or yesterday that a couple of researchers published exactly the same stuff, same API, same everything. So in this case, we haven't had the time to test everything, but we wanted to publish that information because no one had ever published that hack and we believed it was worth our while so that no one could steal the idea from us. So a lot of things occurred to us and I'm sure that a, l a lot of those things will be uh, taken from us by you. One last question. Just a second, there is a question from room 19 next door. Hi, Chema. First of all, thank you very much for your talk, which was really cool. Then when you pair the devices, everything, everything is stored through the Bluetooth MAC address, yes? Would it be possible to detect a loudspeaker that has been, uh, take the MAC address from that loudspeaker and then use that MAC address for your own device? And since it has been paired, do the, synchron the, the synchronicity to clone a Bluetooth device to do a man in the middle? Well, mentions have been made of that. With, for, with brute force on, on the MAC address. Well, it's a bit more complicated. What we were thinking was something else. Well, I think um, you're getting too much information from me. See you next year. Bueno, es el momento del descanso. Set puntuales. Por now it's time for the break. Please come back sharply on time because there will be a contest with a prize. <laughs>